Hey everyone, it's Alex here from Carnivore for Life. It's Monday, 13th of November. I'm on my 13th day of my November Lion Diet Challenge. It's going really well and it's day 561 of my Carnivore Nutrition Journey. I am 13 days I've been on this journey and I just want to do a quick recap on what's happening. Uh, for anyone new to the channel, I'm 65 years of age. I'm from the UK, from Liverpool originally. Just live outside Liverpool at the moment and I've been doing carnivore for the last 18 months. It's cleared up all my mental issues I had uh, following lockdown. Um, all my physical issues which I've documented on a couple of videos including losing psoriasis, uh, arthritis, many different issues so check that out and also my weight benefits. I've actually lost, uh, including today, three stone and four pounds in weight so that's I'm down to 157 pounds in weight, 11 stone three. I started out 11 stone seven uh, on the 1st of November. So just eating fatty meats, salt and uh, water has made a massive difference, guys. I have been hungry earlier. I was normally hungry about two o'clock in the afternoon, but now it's about 11 o'clock. It's 11.30 and I'm thinking, let's have something to eat. I've been eating mainly ribeye and sirloin steaks and also uh, ground beef with a little bit of marmite in it just to give it that sort of like I don't know gravy taste so that's been really good so yeah guys it's going really well I am going to stick to the diet till the end of the month so, sorry not a diet it's my challenge I say 65 I just want to get some challenges bucket list stuff going and I'm really pleased with the way things go and you can probably tell so I'm showing off my new uh, it's, I think it's a winter polo top for swimming it's a size medium UK I was on this time, 18 months ago, I was wearing a 2XL. So I've got them in the loft, I might bring them down. So I'm really pleased with what's happening with my profile. Uh, going to the gym more, and also my tracky bottoms, which you wear when it's cold, they're medium as well. So you can probably tell I am having a great time. So any newbies, please check out many of the channels that I follow, uh, Dr. Anthony Chafee, Dr. Kiltz, Dr. Ken Berry, and Dr. Sean Baker. Dr. Sean Baker was the guy who I first started taking note of, taking an interest in when I saw a movie called Fat Fiction. The movie made the change from uh, a carb high diet with low fat or a carb high low fat to completely flipping it. So as I say, this month I've had zero carbs. I can actually say I've had zero carbs. All I've had is uh, my two essential macros, which are fats and proteins. And uh, I say what I'm trying to do now is I'm back in the gym, I'm trying to get my muscle tone up. I've lost all my subcutaneous fat practically everywhere except on my love handles here. Um, I've lost probably too much on my legs, so I'm going to work on the legs as well. But as I say, upper body, uh, I had uh, my abs reconstructed uh, six, seven years ago, so I'll never get a six pack. I've got a big scar here uh, and I've got a collagen layer. But uh, obviously, uh, I've got no fat here anymore. I can't even stick my belly out, but I'm just trying to get as toned up as I can. Uh, I'm 65, I still want to be working when I'm 70, 75 and onwards, so hopefully I can do that. So I know some of the trolls will love all this stuff about, oh, look at you with your medium tops, but guys, I am euphoric about the whole thing and I just want to share it with people. Many of my uh, subscribers or people who support the channel are over 50 and I know they uh, say to me that they're inspired by it and that's what I want to do. I want to get the message out there that this is something that's achievable. It's uh, sustainable, I've lost it. I've been 11 stone seven for a couple of months. I say I was 14, seven, 18 months ago. So I've got 11, seven, started on the 1st of November on my Lion diet and I've took another four pounds off that. So I'm gonna see as I go through the rest of the month, can I sustain the 11, three? And then maybe if I get down to 11 stone, I'll stop there. I think that's probably far enough. Michelle said to me, oh, don't need to go too thin. Now, I've dreamt about somebody saying that to me for years. You don't want to go too thin, Alex. Tell people about the carnivore way of eating. It's not for everybody, that, that's a fact, but for people like me who were helpless and hopeless, I pinched that one from Kerry from Homestead Howe, I was feeling hopeless after the lockdowns. I was quite depressed about the journey, sorry, the direction my life was taking. I was feeling really low about the way my life was. Um, the direction it was taking, put on a big front uh, for my family and friends, but this thing has just, I don't know, the fog's lifted and I'm feeling decades younger, guys. So as I say, um, check it out if you, if you do, and as I say, please continue following the channel. 
Have a great day.